Uh, so I think it would be great for our audience to know a little bit more about Kuchibudi. I mean, mm -hmm. opera is, you know, is only 400, 500, you know, 400 mm -hmm. plus years old, and Kuchibudi is like 2,000 years, 2, 2, years, years old. old. I mean, I, yeah. we're Johnny Come Lately's. Your culture yeah. is really established. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, and precisely because it it's been around for 2,000 years. It's had several centuries of, of refinement. And, and, and because of the centuries of refinement, there are many layers uh, within the dance form itself. And it's, um, and it's incredibly versatile because of the very detailed codified language of gesture that we've been given to us which um, we can use to tell secular stories, ancient stories, religious stories, any stories. And, and so telling a story uh, of the enchanted forest um, becomes very possible because of this language of gesture. And I think it is universal uh, in its... Um, um, it, it, it's, it's, I think any audience could relate or could understand this because of... Um, a lot of the gestures are, are, have been developed based on real life gestures. The fact that we, if we are eating something and that whole thing becomes much more stylized and that becomes a gesture. When we call somebody casually but when we, when we do it in a stylized way, it's come here as opposed to just come. So all these stylized movements come from real life gesture, gesture that the humans perhaps used before language was discovered or language was formed. Every single part of the face has been analyzed and, and, and uh, codified in terms of how we can use. Like eyes can be used in different ways if we kept it up or if we kept it down, if you draw it in. And, and the way you use your chin, the way you use your head, the way you use your fingers, the way you use your body, the way you stand. Um, suggest is suggestive of different positions, different um, status of the like a status of a person is determined by just the way you stand, and the way a person walks in and enters uh, determines whether that person is a prince or a princess or somebody from a low caste or a low low status in society. There are animal gates. There are. Um, movements for different functions of life, there are movements for different festivities, so the gesture language is, can, goes on and on and on, and what strikes and, me which is it, why it's so versatile. It's, and, yeah. and you combine it with this extreme physicality of that is, I mean, when your dancers are going across the stage, sometimes they're pounding the floor <laughs> and, and, they're and they're moving so quickly through a large space yeah. in these wonderful patterns. I mean, that's the it's the combination of that that kind of more that um, broad physicality and that very refined um, yeah. So, so gesture what, language. Yeah. You're so about what I talked about, gesture. like the the hand gesture language, the facial expressions, all of these form the bedrock of expressive dance. But then we have what's called the the pure dance or or the rhythmic aspect of Indian dance, which is also fairly complex. We have fairly complex rhythmic structures and rhythmic beats that we use. Much more so and than Western music. I mean, I, uh, your, your, your rhythmic patterns are, 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 fairly, are, are, yeah. are fairly complex and ours are, are, are actually fairly simple. Didn't you, don't you find that? Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do believe and they're, they're very tight as well. Our musical structures mm -hmm. are very tight. They're in cycles, mm -hmm. very defined cycles with no space between the cycles. Mm -hmm. And so um, and, and also there's a lot of layering of rhythms that we work with and off beats that we work with, the cross rhythms. And so even if a piece of music, say, is going on a four beat time measure, a simple four beat time measure, we are used to um, creating rhythms with the dancer's feet and movements, mm -hmm. uh, which are not necessarily going in the four beat time measure. Which they could go gonna... into three beat or a five beat or a seven beat as long as we end the symmetrical cycle. Let's, on de beat. let's demonstrate that. So oh. I'm, I'm going to do, I'm going to lay down a simple one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you're going to put a more complicated rhythm on yeah. top of that. So if I just go so one, it, it's, two, three. It works a little three. differently. It works like, suppose we call an eight beat cycle. We okay. go one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? So, taka demi, taka demi, taka chano, taka demi, taka chano, taka demi, taka chano, taka demi. Takita, dikita, tongita, nangita, tatatrilodon, takita, dikita, tongita, nangita, tatatrilodon. So, what did I do? On the four beat, I put three, 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 and four. So, four times three is twelve, plus four is sixteen. So I got 16 in those four, and then I got 16 in the other four by using three beats and a combination and of three beats. Different combinations, right? right so right. that's what we do using our feet. Mm -hmm.